So for installing SQL Server Management Studio, we are going to first download it and then we are going to install it. If you want to download SQL Server Management Studio, this is my Sankhi and thanks for tuning in. In our previous video, we installed SQL Server 2017 in our Windows 8.1 machine and in SQL Server 2017 installation, SQL Server Management Studio is not available or SQL Server Management Studio is not a part of SQL Server 2017 installation. So for installing SQL Server Management Studio, we are going to first download it and then we are going to install it. If you want to download SQL Server Management Studio, you need to open this URL and this URL is also available in the description of this video. I am installing SQL Server Management Studio 17.3 first time, so I don't need to upgrade it. So we are going to click on this first URL to download SQL Server Management Studio. And the size for this file is around 820 MB. And uh, for this video, I already downloaded the file, so we need to copy it. And this file is available in my D drive, so let me open this first. Uh, this is the installation file for SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm going to click copy this file. I'm going to paste it here. And I don't think so I required this scape file. So I'm going to remove all the scape files. This scape file is a part of SQL Server 2017 installation file is copied now i'm going to double click to initiate the sql server management studio installation if user account control asks for your permission click on yes my program name is program name is sql uh, program name is ssms setup enu verify publisher is microsoft corporation file origin is hard drive okay so this is the installation for sql server management studio and this is the release 17.3 welcome click install to begin yes click on install Finally, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is installed successfully. We need to restart, we need to restart our machine. For this, I'm going to click on this button. Finally, our machine is restarted successfully. So I'm going to click on Windows and then I'm going to open all apps. So Microsoft under Microsoft SQL Server Tools 17, we have SQL Server Management Studio. So I'm going to click on this to launch the SQL Server Management Studio. And also with SQL Server Management Studio, SQL Server Profile 17 is also installed. Next video, we are going to learn about Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio user interface.